Good job and welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy J.I. and I'm back at it again with another video for you guys. Um, if you guys haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for the kid one time. As you guys can see, we are definitely in a Nissan Rogue. The missus is Nissan Rogue to be exact. No, we are no longer in the Stang. If you guys missed that upload, I'll go ahead and put a card up and it'll actually be attached to the end of this video. So watch the video all the way through and then you can just click on that video. It'll take you straight to it. Um, and you can go watch that video and uh, get informed as to why we're no longer in the Stang. Um, but basically today we are going to go to the tow yard where my car is at. And uh, we're gonna be trying to take out, you know what I'm saying, our last little belongings. You know what I'm saying? All the stuff that I have in the car. Look, got my boy. My boy back to the money in the Nissan Rogue, man. I was, I was about to show him, but his ass trying to hurry up and get behind me. I'm a boy buddy in the Nissan Rogue, man. <laughs> we in Nissan Rogues today, man. But yeah, man. So. Um, actually about to go ahead and head up there try to get my stuff and then I also have to sign the release papers um, so that they can release my car to my insurance that way my insurance can go pick it up confirm the total loss tell me how much they're gonna give me for the car um, whoop de whoop and then uh, yeah man you know then I'll have to call Gap and get them to cover the rest you know what I'm saying so it's a whole little process you know what I'm saying it's very tedious and it's very annoying but I definitely will be keeping you guys in the loop um, and up to date with everything that goes on so as of right now look oh boy buddy trying to my boy buddy trying to do something wrong <laughs> But um, yeah, man. That's honestly, bro. This is what having friends and um and and good characters around you. You know what I'm saying? This is what it does, bro. We we literally had everything. <laughs> literally had everything stripped from us, bro. Like legit, as far as like our vehicles go, man. As you guys know, those are the stars of our YouTube channels. Me, back to the money, versatile speed. You know what I'm saying? Those were the stars of our channels. We had them. <laughs> this thing is stupid. That we're trying to get walked in the goddamn road, man. Hold on, let me roll my window down, man. Let me, let me roll my window down, man. Oh, he trying to go. He trying to go. Okay. Anyway, um, yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? We all got, you know, our babies taken away from us in the matter of seconds. <sighs> but as homeboys, you know what I'm saying, we're lifting each other's spirits and, and doing shit like this <laughs> so that... <laughs> hey, man, I'm vlogging, sir. I, I'm trying to be a responsible driver, sir, okay? I am. Hey, bro, I, any Nissans right now, you know I'm, what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm trying to be a responsible driver, sir, okay? And hey. you, sir, you're not being safe. Does, does, uh, inter does Enterprise know you're driving like that? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, like I was saying, bro, we, we just lifting each other's spirits up, man. We got everything taken away from us, you know what I'm saying? And it's just, it's a tough time right now, but, you know. Got my niggas with me. I got my niggas with me, bro. And that's that's all that matters. You feel me? They definitely lifting your boy's spirits because you know what I'm saying. I just bought that car. It's a brand new loan. You know what I'm saying? So with it being, <laughs> hey man, can't say too much, brother. Don't say too much, don't say too much, but something just went by. You feel me? <laughs> all right, bro, bro. You too, bro. But yeah, man, we got everything taken from us, bro. So we just trying to, you know, keep each other's spirits up. You know what I'm saying? Because we all know what each one is going through. You know what I'm saying? Um, but like I was saying, it's a very, it's a new loan. I just got the car. I just started paying on it. I literally made my fourth payment um, on Monday. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, <laughs> Insurance is gonna give me the value of the car and then whatever's left if it doesn't cover what was owed on the car Then you know what I'm saying gap insurance is gonna take care of the rest um, That car like I say um, I actually ended up financing. I didn't I didn't buy this one cash I've been trying to build my credit. So you know what I'm saying I've been trying to you know finance and stuff like that so that I can do that 
Um, you gotta have some things on your credit for them to see. You know what I'm saying? Whenever they run that joint, but uh, that's that's enough of that, man. Uh, that's for like a different a different day. If you guys are interested in talks like that, man, let me know in the comment section down below, and we can definitely get into the nitty gritty. You know what I'm saying? Because I have bought ten cars. Um, the next one's gonna be number eleven. You know what I'm saying? So I I have a little bit of experience when it comes to you know what I'm saying buying and and, and selling cars and stuff like that. But um, yeah, man. It is what it is, bro. It's it's sad, you know what I'm saying? It, it really stings, honestly, more than anything. But yeah, we on our way to the tow yard where the car is at. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the camera on when I get up in there, give you guys a walk around of the car and whatnot, let y'all see um, how Reaper sits as of now. And uh, yeah, man, I'll just keep you guys posted throughout this whole ordeal. <sighs> I'll see y'all in a couple seconds. I'm not even gonna lie, I'm a little pissed off. Um, dude, stuff was missing from my car. Like, my car lock was missing. Um, literally, all of the coins I had, like, bro, it's, it's coins, you feel me? Like, the quarters I had for car washes and stuff, inside of the armrest was gone. A couple of my masks were gone. Like, stupid shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, that just doesn't make any sense as to what, you know what I'm saying, you could use it for. You know what I'm saying? Like, it wouldn't benefit you for still to steal this. You know what I mean? Like, the car lock device, I can kind of see that. But still, I can't because at the end of the day, with car lock, even if you steal the device and try to use it on your own car, you still have to pay for the program. And then on top of that, you still have to register the device to your membership via the serial number. And the serial number comes in the box. It doesn't come on the device itself. So, with that being said, like, these... Fulio ass dudes really just took I'm sorry for like cussing but they really just took my stuff like it was smiling in my face and I put music behind the walk around but like the dude because the dude you know what I'm saying the whole time was trying to tell me oh your car is not a total loss and oh you should let us fix that hole and all this other bullshit that, you know what I'm saying, the insurance is just gonna put like some cheap parts on your car and all this other dumb stuff. And then on top of that, everybody inside of that joint was basically saying that because Money's car is actually at that lot. You know what I'm saying? Now they was tripping over me recording. So that walk around that you guys got, I really just snuck that in. But basically Money's car was literally like three cars down next to my car and so since they came in on the same night everybody in there just had these fixed narratives um as to what happened you know what i'm saying they all talking about oh y'all was racing y'all was racing huh that doesn't make any sense at all and this is why like if you're racing bro how the hell would both cars have front end damage please explain that to me please explain to me how that makes any fucking sense you feel me? Like, how? How would both cars have front end damage if they were crashed while racing? You know what I'm saying? Like, it was... Whatever. So, yeah, man. As you guys can see, Reaper is, is pretty bad, bro. It's pretty bad. There's damages on it. Like, this is my first time seeing it in the sunlight. There's damages to the car that I didn't even know about. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, I knew about the airbags being deployed. Um... I knew that the front end was kind of was you know boofed, but I didn't know that the rear bumper was broken. I didn't know the side skirts were broken. Like, oh, my passenger door doesn't even open. Like, it's a whole bunch of stuff that I didn't know. So it was good that I went to go see the car. You know what I'm saying during the daylight, and you know was able to get a chance to see like all of the damages, and you guys were able to see all of the damages. <sighs> um, 
but yeah, man, it, I ain't gonna lie. Like, I'm just frustrated right now um, because I knew this was gonna happen. I knew something was gonna go missing. Like, whenever, whenever something like this happens, like if you guys are in a situation like this, which I pray y'all don't ever get into a situation like this, but if you do and your car has to go to a tow yard, bro, do your best to get everything out of the car while you still can, bro. Because if you don't, anything valuable, bro, is going to come up missing. And that's just straight up facts, dog. So, yeah, man. Oh, man, bro. This whole situation is so stupid. Like, it's, it's so annoying, bro. And I'm going to keep it a stack with y'all. I have no idea, like, you know what I'm saying, what... Like why this is happening, you feel me? This is it's definitely gonna there's definitely a story coming from this, you feel me? I just don't know it yet. So I'm just gonna, you know, stay in good spirits, you feel me? I already signed the release form, so now it's just, you know, in the hands of the of my insurance, you feel me, how long it takes them to get the car and how long it takes them to appraise the car. Um, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully we hear something next week. And I'll keep you guys in the loop as far as, you know what I'm saying, what they end up saying, what they end up determining, if they determine it a total loss, which I believe they will because my car doesn't even start. You know what I'm saying? Like, it don't run no more. So I'm pretty sure they're going to end up, you know, deeming it a total loss. Um, and with that being said, then, you know what I'm saying, the search for a new car continues. Um, you know what I'm saying? And we'll, like I said in the previous video i've had i have a couple cars that i got my eye on as far as just like a car that i can see as the next car um no specifics yet but um if i do you know what i'm saying end up going to go test drive a car or, or find a car that i like you know what i'm saying i'll definitely take you guys with me i probably just won't drop the video until after the reveal of the car um but yeah, man, that's that's just where we at, bro. That's just that's just where we at right now. You know what I'm saying? The car is definitely fried. Um, it's definitely done for. <laughs> man, man, oh man, oh man, bro. I can't. Like, it's just nothing you can say, bro. The situation's just fried. Now I gotta reach out to Carlock, um, get them to turn off the device. Hopefully they can send me a new device out for the new car. Um, you know what I'm saying? I want, them. but um, yeah, man, that shit's just that shit's fucked, bro. Honestly. And then my um, my carbon fiber. I had a carbon fiber key cover for my key fob. All of a sudden that joint went missing. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like a whole bunch of little shit. That's just like, bro, why? You feel me? Like, what's the point of y'all taking this? Like, I don't understand. Like, but yeah, man, that's going to do it for this video. If you guys are new to the channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button for the kid. Turn on those post notifications. Drop a comment in the comment section down below. Get this video a big thumbs up, please, man. Support your boy. Tap in with the official underscore BYL dot shop on IG. Get your merch, you know what I'm saying? JI Squad merch. Uh, Reaper logo merch. I mean, not Reaper. That hasn't dropped yet. Um, I'm probably going to do like a limited drop on the Reaper merch just as like a little tribute to Reaper. Um, since it was four months, I might just do like 40 pieces type, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I'm not 100% sure yet, but uh, y'all stay tuned for that. Just go tap in, you know what I'm saying? Get your merch, your J.I. Squad merch, like I said, your Mamba merch, um, and, and all of the drops to come, man. But without further ado, I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.